Hi everyone, I'm Mike, a South Florida firefighter, here again with Drone Nerds, and today we are going to use the Mavic 3 thermal drone and demonstrate how it can be used to help locate a car that was involved in an accident that is either missing or in a hard to get to area. Stay tuned. Usually when a vehicle accident occurs, first responders are en route to the call and we have a good idea of where the accident is and the exact location. But that is not always the case. Sometimes accidents are hard to get to. They can be across train tracks like I have behind me, in some of the bushes next to an interstate like I also have behind me, off of a cliff, in a ditch, or some very hard to get to places. We're gonna use this Mavic 3 thermal drone and explain how it can be a useful tool to the responders coming to the scene. I'm down in South Florida right now in a pretty densely populated area. Most of our calls, we can find the vehicle that is in distress or in the accident. But every now and then, the vehicle gets in a hard to get to area, especially at night, and it's difficult for the first responders to know the exact access point or to even find it. I have train tracks like I have behind me. I have an interstate on that wall back there with some bushes. And sometimes we get into the scenario where a car is even lost, missing, or we don't know the right route to get to the accident. This is where the Mavic 3 Thermal comes in. One of my wildest, or should I say unique calls in my entire fire service career involved a vehicle accident that went over an interstate wall like I have behind me and into some dense bushes. The call came in at three o'clock in the morning. There was one caller that thought he saw the accident. We responded to the scene and it wasn't for 30 minutes until we actually found the car and then an hour until we essentially got to the car. Now, I don't know if it would have changed the outcome of the call, but if we would have had the Mavic 3 thermal drone, we would have definitely found that car much sooner and we could have found even a better route to get into the bushes to uh, start treatment. If we're in a less densely populated area and a more rural part of the country, we can use this Mavic 3 thermal drone to cover a large area for a report of a missing vehicle or a vehicle in distress without the exact location. Remember, this drone can fly miles away barring any obstructions or frequency issues. Okay, we're gonna take off the Mavic 3 Thermal right now and we're gonna demonstrate that even in a densely populated area where I am right now, if a vehicle were to get in an accident and get into a tough area or situation, we can give that valuable intel to the responding units on the whereabouts and the best access points to get to the vehicle to start the treatment. Okay, we have the Mavic 3 Thermal in the air and as you can see, we have the interstate over here to our left and then we have some bushes right here that are pretty dense. If a car somehow got over that wall and into those bushes, it's gonna be hard to find and hard to get into. So if we have the drone in the air like we do now, we can click on our infrared and switch our color palettes and the vehicle will definitely be easier to locate in these bushes, especially at nighttime. Keep in mind that if we are in a remote area, this drone can fly a long distance away. If we have it handy, we can cover a large area to help the first responders locate the missing vehicle and even the best access points. Cars have been known to get into some crazy, weird, and hard to get to areas. And this drone, especially with the thermal capabilities, can assist. If a vehicle were to get in an accident right here, it can be a complicated situation, especially at night. So we do have a car pulled over on the side right here, and we're going to take a look and see what it looks like in the thermal camera. Got my thermal on, switch, and try to keep the crosshairs right on the vehicle. There's the vehicle. And let's switch our color palette right here. There's our white hot, and there's the vehicle. It definitely stands out a little bit. And here's our black hot, which, there you go. So there's the vehicle. I mean, he's off on the side of the bushes right here, but it definitely stands out. Here's another example of a off-ramp and an on-ramp where 
there's plenty of places if a car were to go off right here and into the ditch and somehow get into these bushes it can be a difficult task for us to locate the car and find the best access point so especially at night when there's less cars on the road we can switch this infrared camera and definitely see better on how to get to the car and the exact location here's another view of this on and off ramp from a different location and I put it on the split screen to see here remember these are dense bushes right here so we have the infrared rainbow on the left and regular color on the right at night this could get very tricky if somehow a car got into these bushes and no one saw the accident or only one caller so I can zoom up remember and zoom out and there you go here's a different view of the interstate right here where we have these dense bushes and if an accident happened here, it would be very difficult to locate or even get to. This is very similar to the accident that happened with us where the car went over the wall and into the bushes upside down. Very dense. And there was just a little bit of an area next to the wall where we were able to finally see the car all kinds of stuff can happen if a car went over the wall and got into that situation you pan up here and you have the train tracks so i'm going to zoom down here or lower the drone and show the infrared again here's the infrared of what those dense bushes look like there's the white hot and at least we can locate the vehicle because with the heat signatures, it's definitely going to stand out. We're going to be able to see the best access points on how to get in and make entry to start care. This could be a real issue for first responders in the middle of the night, locating the exact area of the vehicle and finding the best entry point so we'll lower the drone a little bit over here and we will flip on the infrared again take a look white hot black hot now if we had a car in here somewhere it's definitely going to stand out with the heat signature and we can find the best access point there's our tent and our rainbow too this has been Mike with Drone Nerds featuring the DJI Mavic 3 thermal drone and how it is used to help locate a missing vehicle involved in an accident or assist first responders in gaining access to that vehicle. Anytime we have a vehicle that is in distress in a hard to get to area, this drone can be used with its thermal camera to help assist those first responders. If you have any further questions or comments, leave them below or contact us at experts at dronenerds.com. Once again, I'm Mike. Happy flying. Have a nice day.